What's caused such an influx of people to move to South Carolina, and are we going to see this growth slow down anytime soon? And are we really full? We're going to talk about that and more in today's video. So kick your shoes off. Stay a while. Being a local of the upstate of South Carolina, I've seen and heard a lot of locals' comments about the new growth in recent years in South Carolina. The one statement that seems to stand out the most is, don't move here, we're full. Why not the more the merrier, right? No! Better for the local economy, right? No! Well, not necessarily. While a larger population can lead to more economic activity, it's not a guarantee for a better local economy. Now, the strength of a local economy can depend on a ton of factors. Quality of the workforce, access to capital, and the list goes on. In some cases, a larger population can actually strain a local economy. For example, if the local workforce is not large enough to meet the demands of local businesses, or if the infrastructure is not sufficient enough to handle new traffic and demands for services, the local economy can certainly suffer. Additionally, a large population can lead to increased housing prices, a higher cost of living, and higher unemployment rates. But we're talking about South Carolina specifically in today's video. So what does it mean for the Palmetto State? Now, South Carolina's GDP growth rate has generally been around or above the national average. South Carolina's GDP growth rate saw an increase of 2% in 2022 versus 2021. South Carolina has also seen an increased annualized rate of about 1.5% with the five years leading up to 2022. Currently, one notable aspect of South Carolina's economy is its low tax burden and its lower cost of living. And just recently, it's been announced that South Carolina has and will invest a lot of money in its infrastructure, including its ports and highways to support this recent growth. With developments like BMW announcing its $1.7 billion investment in its EV program and Volvo investing $43 million in a Fountain Inn plant, you're looking at a huge boost to the local economy in the near future. Overall, South Carolina's local economy has its strengths and weaknesses just like any economy. However, the state's diverse mix of industries, supportive business environment, and infrastructure investments, the state has massive potential for continued growth and development. Now let's address why a local resident might not like all these changes and why it might seem that they're not too fond of newer folks and where their perspective is really coming from. This increase in growth could mean an increase of cost of living for South Carolina residents. Growth can lead to higher housing costs, increased traffic, and possibly increased price of a local to just live within their own community. This can be particularly challenging for those on fixed incomes or for those who are currently struggling financially. The growth in infrastructure could increase traffic times and traffic congestion and potentially reduced access to services just like going through a drive through Despite all the economical benefits that new growth can provide for South Carolina, it's also got a host of challenges that it's currently facing and could potentially face. It's as important now than it has ever been for local governments and community leaders to carefully consider the impacts and plan accordingly for all this growth that we're seeing. Now from my end, my point of view, and from what the data shows over the past couple years, South Carolina is working as quickly and as efficiently as it possibly can, even though it might not seem that way when you're stuck in five o'clock traffic anywhere north of Greenville. Now clearly me being in the upstate, I'm going to focus a little more on the upstate because that's where I've got a little more knowledge than the rest of the state of South Carolina. That makes sense to me. Now for the big question. Will this growth slow down? Now I'm recording this in February of 2023. Now with this being a real estate channel, I'm going to focus a little more on the housing market when it comes to this growth that we're talking about. Now last year this time we were seeing 30, 40, 50, plus thousand dollars being offered on homes over asking price. No inspections, no appraisals. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Last year this time, we saw South Carolina become a big popular destination of choice for cash-rich 
customers. You saw a lot of these cash rich customers being transplants from more urban areas who simply desired more space, more sunshine, and everything else that South Carolina has to offer that they may not get in their home state. As well as everything I mentioned earlier in this video, such as low tax burden and lower cost of living overall. However, basically put, with higher interest rates, houses staying on the market mildly longer than they were four, six months ago even. That should have some kind of impact on the growth of South Carolina residents. Of course, there are a lot of other uncertainties that could impact South Carolina's local economy, such as potential shifts in federal policies in 2023, potential massive changes in consumer behavior, or even unexpected global events. Please God, no more unexpected global events. <laughs> as such, any predictions about the state's local economic growth should be predicted with a sense of caution. At the end of the day, none of us have a magic crystal ball. Now given all of these facts that I just threw at you, this year could see a drop in influx of new people in the state of South Carolina, but data and many other factors don't indicate a massive drop. That of course is just my perspective and the data that I've gathered from my research for this video. As always, I encourage you to do your own research on determining whether or not a move to our great state is right for you. That being said, if there's anything I can do to assist with answering questions or helping you make a move to South Carolina, my information will be right here, or if you're intrastate and you need help moving to another part. Until next time, I've been Josh Oglesby with Upstate SC Living and Real Broker LLC, reminding you to work hard, be kind, and do enjoy yourselves.